let them know, play. You know, we all got a past. If you here, you in the present. You need to be tripping off your future, God. I was raised playing with the clips, but I ain't talking no malice or push your tea. I was raised by with the wrist, taking risks. I used to push heck a tree, but them Grammys ain't come with no melodies. Yo, 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 this your bro, True Ju, tapping in with y'all. Look, we got some interesting news coming out of the UK, the Great Britain area. It seems that a low-flying so-called meteor fell out of the sky recently and was caught on film by multiple sources, multiple different perspectives and angles. So it's really interesting that many people had enough footage uh, capabilities to even capture this thing, first of all, and the quality of the capture is really cool. But what I want to talk about was the idea that this meteor fell and I want to get into it real quick. Now, if you've ever watched this channel, you know I don't do the meteor, meteor right thing at all. You know, that's propaganda created by the shadow government delivered through the media to distract us from the firmament above our head as well as the light ships phasing in and out of this realm. Now seeing as we're in the information age and information is free with the quick search of Google, you should be well aware of the Star Wars space program delivered to us in the 1980s by Ronald Reagan. What you might not know, however, is that the United States branch of the shadow government isn't the only branch of the shadow government using the Star Wars space technology. You see, the Star Wars space technology has been implemented by nations of the world in conspiracy against the Most High and the Most High's angels that fly in chariots, aka Merkaba, aka Vimana, aka light ships, and these light ships are easily seen at nighttime. Military personnel all over the world are able to spot these light ships and then they utilize the Star Wars space program machinery to shoot them down. This is why you always see a green plasmic flame and can oftentimes hear an explosion in concurrence with the fall of the light ship as it nears the Earth's surface. What they try to do in the media is tell us that meteorites have fallen to the Earth and that they're exploding, okay? Meteorites and rocks don't explode and there's actually no such thing as a meteorite unless you place that meteorite into its proper context. Check this out real quick and I'm gonna show you something. Now obviously rocks and boulders can explode if fixed with dynamite, but rocks and boulders and other stones don't explode in and of themselves. Let's take a look at the class of the most common types of so-called meteorites that fall to the face of the earth and let's see what science has to say about these meteorites and the elements they contain. Now more than 60,000 meteorites have been found on earth and scientists have divided these meteorites into three main types, stony, iron, and stony iron. We're going to be focusing on the stony meteorites. Now stony meteorites are made up of minerals that contain silicates, material made of silicon and oxygen. That's very important. This is very important because those two minerals together create chondrites and chondrites account for 86% of all the stony type so-called meteorites that fall to earth. Now when you dig a little bit deeper and you realize that chondrites are really hardened pieces of lava, then you'll also be able to correlate that lava into what? Glass. Yes. Meteorites, so-called meteorites, are really chipped off pieces of the firmament, chipped off glass from the firmament above our heads, falling to the earth. When folks are able to find artifacts of these so-called meteorites or firmament pieces on the earth, you can be assured that what you saw was indeed a chipped off piece of the firmament. But if you're unable to find an artifact of a so-called meteorite on the ground, then you can be pretty sure that that was a light ship or vimana or chariot. And after the plasmic fire that took place over that chariot, then you'll know that it disintegrated before it even hit the ground. So there won't be any traces of it. So in conclusion, what we're seeing on this video, to me, appears to be a chariot that was shot out of the sky. There's an accompanying explosion with it, and there's a plasmic fire surrounding it. Rocks don't catch fire like that. That whole idea of so-called meteorites being surrounded by gases as they descend to the face of the earth is a lie. So look, keep your eyes to the sky, stay looking up, and avoid the lies. Remember that we're living in the strangest of times, but the salvation of the Most High is the prize. Look, it's your brother True Jew tapping in with y'all the only way I know how to. Raw, real, and uncut. Remember to stay blessed, stay vigilant. Most High Mama Papa will not be back with another one, but until then, gone. True Jew, hear the speaker's mind. True Jew, ain't it?